Nabi Nuh untuk wilayah ini saja. Nabi Lut wilayah ini saja. Bahkan di zaman Nabi Lut itu semasa dengan Nabi Ibrahim AS. Nabi Lut itu sezaman teman-teman sekalian dengan Nabi Ibrahim. Satu masa tuh. Jadi Ibrahim Nabi, Ismail Nabi, Ishak Nabi, Lut Nabi. Anda bayangkan. Cuma tugasnya daerah-daerah berbeda. Jadi Nabi Ibrahim diutus bukan untuk semua sekalangan makhluk di bumi. Tidak. Nabi Ismail? Tidak. Nabi Ishak AS? Tidak. Nabi Lut AS? Tidak. Bahkan peristiwanya yang paling menarik, malaikat turun datang untuk menyamar kemudian. Jadi manusia tadinya datang ke tempatnya Nabi Lut AS untuk menurunkan azab di tempatnya, tapi sempat mampir ke tempat Nabi Ibrahim AS. Di sebelum menurunkan azab di umatnya Nabi Lut AS, itu mampir dulu ke tempatnya Nabi Ibrahim AS. Ini menunjukkan bahwa di satu masa itu bukan hanya hidup satu nabi, tapi hidup beberapa nabi dengan tugas-tugas yang berbeda. Kalau kekinian, ini daerahnya Jakarta Garden. Nah, ini daerahnya yang ini. Jadi khusus spesifik aja di situ. Nggak bisa pindah. Kayak Nabi Isa AS tugasnya hanya sekitaran Palestina saja. Nggak boleh keluar. Makanya kalau ada orang mengaku umat Nabi Isa lewat dari Palestina, nah itu kejauhan. Kejauhan ya. Nah, karena tempatnya sekitaran itu saja. Wah, itu Masya Allah. Nabi Muhammad tidak. Nabi Muhammad ketika diutus, tidak ada masa batasan di dalamnya. Anda bayangkan, saking pentingnya misi ini, Allah memberikan satu misi yang tidak ada batas. Tidak sekat dengan sekat perkampungan, tidak disekat dengan RT, tidak disekat dengan RW, tidak dengan suku, tidak dengan negara. Semua masa, bahkan setiap masa berganti, tetap risalahnya berlaku untuk risalah Muhammad SAW. Pertanyaannya, apa yang penting di balik risalah ini sampai beliau kemudian diutus dengan istimewa untuk seluruh umat sampai dengan kiamat. Selesai, tuntas, kembali kepada Allah. Baru misinya kemudian dihadapkan perlawan jawabannya di hadapan Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Teman-teman, pertama kata Allah, tidaklah saya berikan misi yang istimewa ini kecuali misi pertamanya sebagai rahmat untuk seluruh alam. 7 Marakibo Mari kita bongkar semua. Ya Abdul Qadir, take it easy. Relax, relax Abdul Qadir. Here we go. <coughs> Hello. Fucking nigger, fucking. Here we go. <laughs> All right. If there is any Muslim would like to call us and express his feeling and his racism, you are welcome. Uh, anyway, so how Muhammad is a messenger sent to all mankind, my friend? Yet the Quran confirmed that he never, we never sent a messenger. You see what it says, we never? We never send the messenger. Unless he is from the people speaking the tongue of the people. So how Muhammad is a messenger for mankind? In order for Muhammad to be a messenger for mankind, he have to speak the language of all mankind based on this verse. And your God, Allah saying, He never sent, never, 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 no exception. That so He might explain the word of God for them. If you go in the hadith, you will see that Muhammad explained that even the Quran in Arabic is not, is not good enough for the Arab to understand let us show you Jibreel came to Muhammad and he said to him Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect and here I find it very funny to say one dialect I mean since when the Word of God is going to fit with the dialect or not I mean the Quran says that God he will send you the Quran or send you the book in a language of your people it doesn't matter what dialect is that I mean this is silly and you know even if we speak different dialect in Arabic 
that will not change anything still we can understand each other because uh, oh you know it's not it's not really something uh, uh, I mean it's it is silly to say that the God he will give us seven dialect like imagine we we live in Scotland and in Scotland uh, there is a town the north town the north side of the town they speak a dialect and the south is uh, no, so uh, so Allah now he will send two Quran in two dialect in Scotch Thailand a, a dialect I mean this is silly because if this is the case if Allah is willing to seven to send seven dialect because the Arab will not understand if we send it in one dialect that's mean he have to send the Quran in every language in the world in many dialect too not only in one language but in many dialect because every language have many dialect so look how silly Muhammad here to cover his ass with his lies so he said the angel came to me and he said to me Allah command you to recite the Quran to your people in one dialect upon he upon this he said which me Muhammad I ask Allah burden and forgiveness my people are not capable of doing it so what we understand here that the Quran in one dialect is not good enough is not good enough good enough for what to the people people will not be able to understood it will not be able to maybe to recite it to and here you find something very stupid in this statement anyone notice what is stupid about it anyone there is something very 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 funny and very silly and very stupid and this story does not even fit for for a six years old child If Allah command Muhammad to recite the Quran in one dialect, who is Muhammad to correct Allah and to say to him, Oh, hold on, hold on, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> khabibi, khabibi. <laughs> my people are stupid, my people. My people are stupid, brother. They cannot do it in one dialect. Are you kidding me? If Allah command Muhammad, to recite the Quran in one dialect who is Muhammad to correct the decision of Allah do we have any Muslim here any smart Muslim he want to try his best if I am Allah and I say to my prophet I command you to recite the Quran in one dialect and then I say to you oh burden 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 Allah burden come on good what my people do you know what kind of people I have? They are Arab. If you don't know what Arab mean, look at Christian Prince. And Allah, he looked at Christian Prince. He said, Oh, okay, I understand now. The situation is very horrible. So, what do you want, Muhammad? Muhammad, he said to him, My people are not capable of doing it. Then he came to him in a second time. Who? Jibreel. Jibreel is a pizza guy. And said, Allah has commanded you that you should recite the Quran to your people into dialect. Uh -huh. So the request of the Prophet Muhammad is approved. Now we have two Quran. Muhammad he looked at the angel and he said to him, I seek burden. <laughs> I don't have time. I'm gonna repeat myself to this God. Allah is stupid, he is not getting it yet. I seek burden. And forgiveness from Allah my people will not be able to do so I mean hello I mean how many times I need to repeat to you I mean you are really really getting my nerve now Angel Zibril go back to Allah and tell him the following Prophet Muhammad, he just told you before in the previous message that my people are not capable to do so. And now you are giving me to Quran. And again I say to you, my people are not capable to do so. 
the angel Jibreel he is just a pizza guy he do delivery he don't discuss you know he had no not no business to do in this fight you know he's just between you know the real estate agent so Jibreel he put his tail between his legs and he went back to Allah and he told him what Muhammad said to him and Jibreel came back for the third time and said Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran in three dialect and now Muhammad supported Shusham hey three dialect not one dialect we have three Quran Muhammad is still not happy and he was like hitting his head unbelievable what I will do now with the storm with the stupid God I mean Jibreel Habibi Jibreel sit down Habibi sit down I want to Jibreel to go back to Allah please say to Allah that uh, my people cannot do it I mean what's wrong with you my people are not capable of doing it Jibreel he was shocked I mean what kind of people those people why uh, Isa did not say that why Musa did not say that why Abraham did not say that why Noah did not say that why only Muhammad saying that my people are not capable we need saving Quran saving Quran brother so the angel again he put his tail between his legs and he go back to Allah What a story. I mean, I like drama. All Middle Eastern, you know, we, we have the same nature of Indian, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, or uh, even Mexican. We, we are close and uh, we are very emotional people. We watch a movie and we start crying. <laughs> the Prophet is asking Allah burden for the third time and Allah is not getting it. Put yourself in the shoes of the Prophet now, how you feel. I mean, how you feel that you have a God is a stupid. How many times I need to tell him that my people are not capable of doing it? And yet he keeps sending me the messenger that the Jibreel once after once. And then Muhammad, he said to him again, I ask burden and forgiveness. Again, from Allah my people could would not be able to do it then he come to him in the fourth time i mean how you feel to be jibreel in that day jibreel like whiz 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 whiz, whiz, whiz. it's like little boy going between muhammad and allah i mean why allah don't speak to muhammad and finish this story muhammad is the greatest prophet but his god don't want to talk to him Don't you notice with me, Muslims? Why Allah don't inspire Muhammad and tell him what he want and that's it? And why your God do not know what Muhammad want and need and that's it? You Muslim, you say to us that Allah is all knowledgeable. Don't Allah knows that first time he sent the angel is not enough, second time is not enough, third time is not enough, third, fourth time is not enough, fifth time is not enough, sixth time is not enough. hello hello I am really impressed with the knowledge of your God he knows everything not like us and then after many trips Jibreel finally Allah he reached the point he said to Muhammad Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran in seven dialect and not only that and not only that not only seven dialect look what he said at the end and in whichever dialect they would recite they would be right <laughs> Oh boy at the end finally he says and whichever day like they would recite it would be right why he didn't say that from the beginning 
what the point of saying one dialect two dialect three dialect uh, as long at the end you will say and whatever dialect they will recite it's fine that's mean we can change the Quran because if I have different dialect from you then I will change the words of the Quran to fit with my dialect hmm? do we have any Muslim here 